Hi guys, let's go over some problems from 3, 4 exponential and logarithmic equations. I should be able to get the first four into this video, and then I'll do a second video with the last two. Let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to keep using those properties of equality that I always have when solving for a variable. Notice here we have a minus 5. We're just going to add that 5 to both sides of the equation. 7e to the 2x equals 63. I'm still working at getting x isolated. We undo multiplication with division. We'll divide both sides by 7. e raised to the 2x equals 9. Now, to undo the e so I can get that, I need that exponent to drop down, I'm going to take the natural log. The natural log is the inverse to e, and of course what I do to one side I have to do to the other ln e to the 2x equals ln of 9. Here we go, 2x equals ln of 9. I'm going to divide out the 2. x equals natural log of 9 divided by 2. We're going to pop that in the calculator. We should get, we'll call it 1.10. We'll do two decimal places. Number 2. Now, it would be lovely if we could get these to have the same base. But we cannot. We, there's, there's nothing we could do here to get 3 and 7 to have the same base. So I will just take the natural log of both sides. So natural log of 3 raised to the 2x minus 1 equals the natural log of 7 raised to the x plus 1. Power property of logarithms. We're going to take our exponents, move it out front. Please don't forget to put parentheses around them so we do not make a error when we have to distribute. 2x minus 1 times natural log of 3 equals x plus 1 times the natural log of 7. And now I'm going to distribute my binomial. 2x times natural log of 3 negative 1 times natural log of 3, x times the natural log of 7, and 1. Oops. 1 times the natural log of 7. Okay, I want to get all of my x's on one side of the equal sign and the constants on the other. Remember, natural log of 3 and natural log of 7, those are both constants. So I'm going to, we're going to do this in one fell swoop. I'm going to subtract x ln 7 from, from both sides. I will get 2x natural log of 3 minus x natural log of 7. I'm going to add natural log of 3 to both sides. So I will have natural log of 7 plus the natural log of 3. Now let's go ahead and factor out the x. x times 2 natural log of 3 minus natural log of 7 equals natural log of 7 plus the natural log of 3. Again, trying to isolate x. We have multiplication here. Let's divide out this binomial to get x by itself. I end up with x equals natural log of 7 plus natural log of 3 all over 2 natural log of 3 minus the natural log of 7. Calculator. Um, I recommend, and it depends on what calculator you're using, put parentheses when you enter them here. You will probably have to use some parentheses um, on your natural logs as well, depending on what calculator you're using. If you're having difficulty, please just email me and let me know what calculator you're using and I will walk you through. And that's gonna get us 12.11. Okay, this one in order to solve, we are going to factor. Now it's a trinomial which means we are going to have the product of two binomials. My first term is going to be e to the x. Now remember, if you were to redistribute this, same base, add exponents, base of e would be raised to the x plus x, which is 2x. Okay, so 
two numbers that when you multiply them you get positive 7, but you add them and you get negative 8. Well, that would be negative 7 and a negative 1. We are factored. Let's use our zero product property to solve. e to the x minus 7 equals 0 and e to the x minus 1 equals 0. Here, e to the x equals 7. Take the natural log of both sides. We've got to get at that x. Natural log and e and do each other. We have x equals natural log of 7. If you pop that into a calculator, that is approximately 1.95. Here, e to the x equals 1. You could take the natural log of both sides. It's going to get you the same answer, but let's just stop and think about this. Any number raised to the 0 power is 1. x equals 0. Let's take a look at these. Here on both of these, what we're going to do is we're going to move them into exponential form. They'll be nice and easy to solve. Uh, let's see, base is 2, exponent is 3, argument x minus 4. Well, 2 to the third is 8, x minus 4. We'll add 4 to both sides, 12 equals x. Now, let's check to make sure we are correct. Log base 2 of 12 minus 4, does that equal 3? Log base 2 of 8, well, that would be 2 thirds equals 8. We're good. Let's do another one. Um, here, we need a, before we start moving into exponential form, let's get rid of this 4. We can divide both sides by 4. Natural log of 3x equals 2. We'll move this into exponential form. The base of the natural log is e. e squared equals 3x. We'll divide out the 3. Okay, now let's check 4 ln of 3, I should have made this bigger, 3 times e squared all over 3, does that equal 8? Well here my 3's reduce out, 4 natural log of e squared equals 8. Natural log and E undo each other, we get 4 times 2 equals 8, which is true.